hammer using scenario AI to create consistent images with my brand mascot. So this is scenario. It's uh, basically like a game assets tool, but it's also great at uh, creating consistent images with. So what you have to do is you have to create a model. Um, I'm not going to do it again because I already created the model. But basically what you do is you need to have a batch of images uh, that you can train the model on. So basically what I did before was I already created the mascot with ChatGPT. You can go check out that tutorial over there. And you can create a bunch of uh, images from your mascot that look uh, like consistently in terms of the look of the, the mascot. And then you can use that to create, um, to train a model. And basically then you can use that to create an infinite amount of images, but with a very consistent look because it's still quite hit and miss with um, ChatGPT, well, DALI or Midjourney. But once you've trained the model with um, Scenario, you can really get consistent images. And the thing, what, what I actually did is I, I created multiple models. So Otto 1, uh, Otto is the name of the mascot, um, was these were actually all images I got from ChatGPT. But as you can see, like there aren't really perfect yet. But what I did is I then created Otto 2, which was basically already using images from Scenario. So better versions that I got out of Scenario to again train. And then I got the model to be honed in a bit more. And then I created a final model. Well, at least uh, one more, which is Alto Tree, where I train it a bit more, for example, on how it, it can use, um, how it can hold items and stuff like that. So now it's able to hold a smartphone and to spread its wings. So to give the model a bit more diversity. And so now let me show you something. Uh, let's create something with Alto and tree so um i always uh, type the same prompt first so that's pigeon with a purple beanie so uh, at least we're sure that what uh, auto will be rendered but of course here the the model is already enabled and you can add multiple models together but i'm not going to go into that and so uh, let's say it's um um uh, standing on a uh, speed boat um, floating in the sea. I don't know. So voila. Let's see what that gives us. It's generating the images. And of course, as always with generative AI, we have to do some um, waiting and also some testing. Et voila. There we have image one. Look, it's on a speed boat. There is some uh, weird other pigeon floating around. But again, like, look at these images. Consistent color, theme, the style of 3D. Everything is very consistent. Let's say I wanted to have him um, hold a baseball bat. Uh, let's do that. Yes, holding a baseball bat. Uh, there's one more coming. Uh, this one is a bit weird, but as you know, you have to iterate. But I mean, this looks great. The look is very consistent and I can basically go on and create uh, endless images with my mascot. You can see here, these are all like within the same universe. And I did some tests where I mixed it with uh, different LoRa. So for example, I mixed it with some model on um, <clears throat> the style of Wes Anderson. Uh, so you can see, you can get quite creative with it, but again, it's all very cohesive. So that's great. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Et voila, ciao.